Uh, Great. Let's start with this report that I, I read that you just released, um, looking at the impact of the strike on business. You are saying that it's neutral for credit for businesses. Obviously, it's going to there's a huge hit that um, Nigerians are taking from this move, but to some extent, it's definitely going to impact business. But let's start first of all on your thoughts on how it impacts credit. Well, um, essentially, our argument um, is that um, the, the policy definitely will lead to significant contraction in domestic demand. And as a result, um, you see that impacting negatively on um, company cash flows, um, particularly free cash flows, which is required for, um, for, for payouts of dividends to shareholders. And to that extent, you see a significant decline in uh, returns to investors on the dividend end. Right. And yeah, from the from the uh, corporate credit end, um, the the significant reduction in operating cash flows as a result of um, contraction in demand. I mean, it's like a domino effect: contraction in demand, which leads to reduced sales volumes and and, and so on and so forth. Means um, companies will definitely incur lower profitability, either as a result of decline in sales price, prices and volumes, or increase in wages, which we're going to see as a result of the fuel price increase. Now, ultimately, what that means is that um, from the corporate end. EBITDA levels and cash flows for, for servicing of the corporate debt will also be placed under significant pressure as a result of this. And as a result, our corporate um, our credit outlook is quite neutral at this point in time in view of the current situation. What will companies have to do to deal with this situation? Some are suggesting that they might, they might have to lay off some people to cope with the situation. Well, um, that's quite unfortunate. That that's probably some of the negative impact of... Um, this type of policies, which is why um, there has been a lot of do ha ha uh, in, in, in the policy with respect to the new uh, the, the new development. But um, all in all, like, like we said uh, in, in our note, um, it, it's definitely going to have a negative impact in the short term. Um, however, in the, in the long run, we expect that it will um, pan out to probably reduce prices in the or downstream sector of the oil industry, mm -hmm. and then um, um, subsequently improve demand. However, in the long run. Who knows what can happen? We are looking, looking at the short-term effect, and what we're saying is that the impact definitely is going to hit the Nigerian economy negatively, and of course the capital market, both equity, fixed income, uh, in particular the corporate end of the uh, of the bond market, will be negatively impacted. Right. I know you didn't focus much on this in your notes, but what are your thoughts on the impact it might have on the banking sector, particularly with loan delinquencies? We know that yes, only a small part of um, the total loans in the market is related to retail uh, or consumer loans. But give us your thoughts on delinquency, the prospect for delinquency, more so because of the hits that this is going to have on um, the consumer market. Well, essentially, um, from our perspective, we see significant decline in savings and within the economy as uh, consumption increases. I mean, people are still going to require the essentials that they require in the, in the various households. So we see there a significant decline in savings, and that would definitely impact um, banks' ability to gather credit on the retail end. I mean, cheap, um, cheap deposits now from the retail end. Mm. Uh, from the corporate end, um, like we mentioned in our note, the significant um, the pressure uh, uh, from, from uh, reduced cash flows on companies will mean they probably look to uh, do a lot of short-term financing within the year. And uh, for banks, that will probably see, we'll probably see an increase in the loan books, but at higher interest rates, which means, uh, which probably would increase delinquency um, level, because the point is that if cash flows are not coming in, then it places corporates under a lot of pressure in the need to, to, to service existing loans. And, and so probably see a lot of rollovers, if I can use that term loosely within the banking sector this year. All in all, I think all, uh, overall the economy will suffer a significant slowdown as a result of uh, the, the current development. All right. Let's, final point on inventories. In your note, you're making a point that this is likely to rise on weaker demand. Talk us through that. Essentially, I mean, it's quite simple. Um, at, at present, for example, we know um, a few companies have had to stop, stockpile inventories in view of the um, anticipated um, um, devaluation of the Naira, and probably in view of uh, expected increase in prices. So um, on the 1st of January, given the new uh, policy review, the contraction in demand means that most companies will be stuck with inventory, high levels of in inventories, which of course people will not be demanding for. And if you look at the high level of inventories and the attendant demands, uh, most people, uh, companies will probably have to slash prices 
to ensure demand uh, demand remains at uh, appreciable levels. And what that means essentially boils down to the cash flow. Because once you start slash prices for it, for you to push your your, your prices your, your your goods through to the market, it means cash will be reduced. On the other hand, if you maintain prices, it means you probably have a significant level of unsold stock. Mm. Now, what that means is that once your your stock and inventory remains unsold and continues to grow, cash is not coming in. And guess what? That means your EBITDA levels, your, your operating cash flows, your, your, your free cash flows will suffer for it. Mm. Now, what that means is that you still need to pay salaries, you still need to maintain the corporate as, as it were. And now that goes back to the argument of going for short-term borrowing in the banking sector. Now, if cash flows are under pressure sure. and you're going to borrow more in the, in, 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 from, the, from the short end of the banking sector, at All right. interest rates, we are hoping... We're hoping yeah, Tola, we Tola, unfortunately, we, we really have yeah. to wrap up. Thanks so much for your thoughts. 